Hey guys, as you can see, I'm not in the workshop. And that's because I will be staying for two months in the Netherlands. The Netherlands is an amazing country, it's full of nature. It has green grass, trees, ponds and rivers, which makes it great for FPV. But to get those nice shots, we need long range. My current transmitter, the Turnin G9X, has a range of only 500 meters, which can be increased using the FR Sky XJT module to 1.5 to 2.5 kilometers. And that's why today I'm going to show you how to install the FR Sky XJT module on the Turnin G9X transmitter. Let's get started. As you can see, the module won't fit correctly on the transmitter. And that's because of this hole being too tight for those pins. You will now need to unscrew the module and enlarge the hole so it can fit on the pins of the transmitter.
So, in order to bind the transmitter with the receiver, you need to press the binding button while powering on the transmitter. For the receiver, you need to do the same. Press the binding button before powering your quad. Now, if you have followed the instructions correctly, you should have a steady red light on the back of your transmitter, as well as a steady green light on your receiver. You will now need to connect your quad to Betaflight, and in the configuration tab, set the receiver mode to serial based receiver, and the protocol to SBOS. As always, nothing can be this easy. You will find out that even if you save and reboot your quad, when you reconnect it, the receiver mode would be empty. To overcome this issue, you need to go to the ports tab and set the UART1 to Serial RX, then save and reboot. After that, reconfigure the receiver mode and protocol and you should be fine. As you can see, the channels of the receiver are varying, which means that we binded and configured the transmitter and the receiver correctly. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and that you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. And if you have any suggestion or any question, leave it in the comment section below.